Hey guys, how's your day been? Well, I hope you guys have had a pretty good day today because if you ask me, I've had a I've had a pretty busy day even though it's it's even though it's the weekend I still had a anyways, you're not here for the tales of my personal life, you're here for the content. And now let's get right into it. So today I want to share with you a custom creation that I had made quite a while ago, I would say around um, two years ago, I made this uh, custom Lego locomotive, and as you see, the base or as I would like to call the all the electronical play features and the motor play features is from the 2014 Lego passenger train, I, I, I decided to leave it uh, unchanged because I gotta give it to Lego, they have included a pretty good color scheme and uh, as well because Lego, they are a lot better than me at making uh, electronical play features. Some would ask about why I have not covered this part of the locomotive up and uh, that is because I find it a lot more easier to simply press this button and uh, actually turn the locomotive on instead of adding in you know a roof and uh, it would be kind of annoying to have to take the roof off to just you know turn the locomotive on. The whole inspiration for me as for the design of this build and the architecture of this build was basically uh, a metro train and a freight train. So I got a metro train and a freight train, I put it together and this is basically what came out of it. Lego, you know, Lego is all about imagination. I had as well added in an accessory for this custom creation. It is uh, this small platform thingy that the driver would, you know, find it easy to get in and get out of it. So basically just uh, push this back and uh, open the door and then uh, you can basically put your minifigure inside there. I personally prefer to take this platform off when the locomotive is driving because uh, I, I, because it, if you didn't see the this platform, it basically it basically it jams the wheel from turning. So on on turns, the locomotive could get possibly stuck and could possibly uh, the I mean the wheels could possibly jam and the locomotive could collapse. So this, in my opinion, is basically you know just for looks. You know if the locomotive is parked, uh, I honestly think it would look pretty cool. Oh, and um, as well, speaking of gaining access to the inside, we're going to take a look at that next. So you basically just open this door and uh, your minifigure gets inside there. Or there. It'll be very hard to sit your figurine down there. So basically, I would find it a lot easier to just take off this roof and, um, and uh, you basically put your minifigure inside. Not too much going on on the inside, basically you just got the driver's seat right over there and um, you know got all the control panels, got this uh, control lever and uh, as well you've got a, a, a green light there and uh, that really doesn't actually serve any purpose, I, I just thought it would be a pretty cool cosmetic item and uh, somebody asked about what this uh, uh, this hook is doing here, well, that's basically if your uh, driver is wearing a hat so he can um, he or she can take off their hat and um, as well as well just display it well thank you very much for watching this video i very much appreciate you uh, checking on about what i have to share with you today nothing else much to say apart from a few things i would like to let you know um, before i let you go so number one i would like to let you know that at the at the moment i am planning a railroad system in the city and uh, number two i am planning to buy a Lego, another Lego train set because it is getting closer to summertime and getting closer to Christmas so that's why I, uh, the, the prices are basically getting low and I, at the moment I am planning to buy another an, another um, train set. Yep, yeah, thank you very much for watching this video, nothing else much to say apart from if you do have any ideas or suggestions about how this locomotive could be possibly improved, just comment down below. And, yeah, thank you very much for watching this video and I'll be talking to you again very soon. Bye for now.